Hello, everyone. It is a great honor to have an opportunity to present our recent work published in KJR. Today, I would like to talk about cycle consistent generative adversarial network effect on radiation dose reduction and image quality improvement in ultra low dose CT for evaluation of pulmonary tuberculosis. I'm Chen Gong Yan from the D Lab in the Department of Precision Medicine in Maastricht University. I also work as a radiologist in the Department of Medical Image Center in Nanfang Hospital in China. Tuberculosis is one of the most widely distributed infections. It is the leading cause from a single infectious agent. So monitoring and reporting is very important for prevention and treatment. CT is an important imaging technique for the diagnosis and the management of pulmonary tuberculosis. However, repeated follow-up CTs pose concerns over the potential risk of radiation. Lately, generative adversarial networks, GANs, for image-to-image -image transition have been reported. This model often consists of a generator network focused on image synthesis and a discriminator network centered on discrimination. The two networks are trained simultaneously and challenge each other to achieve high quality images from the low dose acquisitions. More recently, Chen Group has shown that high quality PET images can be generated using deep learning methods starting from acquired MR images and ultra low dose PET data. So the purpose of the study was to investigate the image quality and the diagnostic performance at ultra-low-dose CT reconstructed by a cycle gain in the evaluation of pulmonary infectious lesions. Between June 2019 and November 2019, a total of 129 consecutive patients with clinical indication of tuberculosis for chest CT were enjoyed. The inclusion and exclusion criteria are as follows. All patients underwent standard CT followed immediately by ultra low dose CT. The total 103 cases were randomly divided into training and testing sets in a ratio about 2 to 1. The original cycle GAN pipeline contains two networks, a generator G and a discriminator D. A generator network generates realistic images to confuse the discriminator, while the discriminator network recognizes whether the imported generated images are real or fake, which work in competition with each other. So for series of CT images, including standard idols, ultra-low-dose GAN, ultra-low-dose IMR, and ultra-dose idols were obtained for objective and subjective image analysis. IDOS is a routinely used reconstruction technique, while IMR is the most advanced algorithm then we came to the results section. For the ultra low dose CT images, the proposed GAN method demonstrated significantly high PSNR and SSIM and lower noise than IMR and IDOS. For overall diagnostic quality and noise readings, the ultra low dose GAN images were typically graded as good image quality with minor artifacts and no significant image noise. For visibility of normal anatomic structures and pathological findings on ultra-low CT images, the hybrid idols images were substantially improved with GAN. 
This is an example of CT imaging of multiple tuberculosis nodules in the lung window. Notable is the visibility of these pathological findings on ultralodal CT gain is substantially improved when compared with idols and is visually similar to standard CT. Our study has several limitations. Firstly, the sample size was relatively small. Secondly, this population only included patients with a narrow body size range. Thirdly, the standard deviation of the CT values in the descending aorta was relatively high in the gang-generated imagings. Finally, the visibility of anatomic structures including fissures and the pericardium in the gang-generated imagings was still not as good as that of standard CT imagings. Our results show that the cycle gain model enabled a substantial reduction in the radiation dose. The effective dose of the dose reduced CT is about 0.12 ms, which is very close to anterior, posterior, and lateral chest radiographs. In this work, we developed and evaluated a cycle gain based deep learning technique to generate ultralodal CT images with maintained image quality and diagnostic confidence comparable to standard care images. Finally, I would like to thank Professor Philip Lambing, Professor Henry Woodruff, and all members in the D-Lab and M-Lab for their support. I also would like to thank my director, Professor Ike Xu, and all team members and AI collaborators from my department and Philips Healthcare. Thank you for your attention.